Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, or the Theme Park Evangelist. I am at Disney's Hollywood Studios right now. And yes, you guys probably noticed, there's no face mask. It's the most incredible feeling to be able to come back to Walt Disney World and not have to wear a mask. Oh my word, I am so, so excited to be back at Disney, especially if I had a face mask. It, that was a pain in the butt last year. Hated it. The last time I wore, I mean, I came to Disney World without a mask on, was two years ago. So you are still required to wear a face mask on a public Disney transportation that's enclosed like the monorail, the bus, and uh, their um, minivans service and Mears Connect for that matter. I uh, hated to rush ahead of everybody, but I have to use the restroom so bad. I uh, had a coffee this morning and it already went right through my system, so. <laughs> but while I'm walking, I might as well let you guys know that today is my big YouTubing day. Today I'm going to be showing you guys everything that's going on with the 50th anniversary celebration here at Walt Disney World. I'm also going to see if I can show you guys anything with the Galactic Cruiser from this end, as well as um, construction going on at um, Epcot for uh, Cosmic Rewind. And I'm also going to be uh, riding Remy's Ride to Adventure, and then heading over to Magic Kingdom eventually. Then dinner tonight was Spring Canyon Cafe, which unfortunately. That uh, was supposed to be Boma originally, but my stupid butt accidentally messed up. So, that's kind of what we're going with right now, but hopefully things have improved since we were there like three years ago or whatnot. Anyways, I will see you guys inside. So the crowds have officially returned back to Disney, that's for sure. And uh, it is the uh, 50th celebration going on from October 1st of 2021 all the way till uh, let's see here I'm assuming February of uh, 2023 or March of 2023 so to get to Galaxy's Edge when we get up here take a left okay. just follow me how about that but let's stay close oh yeah I used to work at this park, so I know my way around. I, I kind of figured. Like right. Oh. Yes. Don't worry, he'll catch up. <laughs> yeah, but they get free water here if you want. Yes, we can actually get free water again. Because last year it was a mess. You had to stand off to the side, mm -hmm. and you had to pull down your mask and drink it. You couldn't move. Right. I hated it. I used to work here. That was my very first location. Which one? Right here at Dockside Diner. It used to be called Men and Bills. <laughs> Men and Bills. Men and Bills. Flip that over. It's a trackless ride. Disney, t Disney's been in putting a lot of uh, effort into trackless rides lately. Computer does all the work. No, not at all. You're just sitting in a car and uh, it follows like a thin wire yeah. and uh, it just kind of goes wherever. Rise of the Resistance is so worth it though. And you no longer need virtual queues for Disney World. That is done. Yeah, but that sucks. To me, I think it sucks. It depends on how long Well, last year, TJ and I had to literally be up at the crack of dawn oh, wow. just to be able to grab them. Oh, really? Yeah, you didn't get in by 7 a.m. Forget it. Forget it. We were getting in. Forget it. Forget it. Oh, at one point, you had to actually be here at the park right. in order to get it. That was my other location right there. Okay. It's, it used to be called Oasis Canteen, but now it's called Epic Eats. And they got uh, Indiana Jones back. 
finally. They renamed this to Oasis Canteen. That's different. It's definitely like back in the day when I used to work here, that's for sure. This is nice. I heard my uh, friend Stephanie does not work here anymore. I got to see her last year for like the last time. I probably did not add this to my YouTube video last year, but unfortunately... If you were to get a dinner reservation or a lunch reservation or whatever, keep going to your right. What you would have to do is you would have to wait outside. They would bring you in and you would have to keep your mask on until they brought you your beverages or whatnot. And then you can pull your mask down. But the, no, just keep going straight. And then eventually, or, but, well, I should say these days, of course, you don't have to wear a mask here unless of course you're inside a Disney transportation closed Disney transportation isn't that great yep keep going all right you see where that big opening is you're gonna go right through there I'll see you guys in a minute not have been a productive day so far here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We uh, went to Toy Story Land to go ride Slucky Dog Dash, and the ride went down after an hour. And uh, they said they're not issuing recovery. What do you know about that? Anyhow, this is going to be the new entrance to Woody's Lunchbox. That must be the building right there. When it does eventually open, I don't know when. But. TJ has to go to get services to get his money back for Disney Genie. We tried, uh, Disney Genie Plus, that is. We tried uh, investing in it. And it uh, turns out you have to book the uh, reservations or whatever for it at least 30 days in advance. At least. And we tried doing it the day of on a very busy day. With the mask mandate gone here um, at Disney, that is. People are flocking in. I'm not really surprised, and I don't blame people either. But yeah, it's definitely a lot busier here than a year ago, that's for sure. But uh, anyhow, uh, after that, we're going to go over to CC's Good Lunch and then head over to Epcot and do what we can over there. But yeah, it's going to be like Universal all over restaurant? again. Oh, I could use it over by guest services. Okay. So this will probably do it at least for Hollywood Studios. Well, here we are at uh, Epcot in front of Spaceship Earth, getting myself uh, backwards there. That's a that was a cool picture that I got there. Um, you'll see you'll you'll have seen it before the uh, clip, but um, or after this clip. But anyhow, um, the entrance looks so different now. Wow. This is gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> okay. You haven't sent me any of the other ones from Icebreaker yet. You know the sunset. So, a lot has happened at Epcot since I was here last two years ago. What's that? Oh, that's a, oh, that's Spaceship Earth in front of us. It's a, it's just a calm, you know, slow moving ride. You guys can do whatever you want, though. Do you want to hit the big golf ball? Oh well, no, I'm waiting for the giant to show up and do that. <laughs> it was, it's a, it's a dumb bar joke. I know, right? Four. <laughs> you guys can do whatever you want. If you want to see TJ now, you can. 
I don't mind if you guys put up. I thank you very much for that honor. What? <laughs> and it looks like they're doing some construction over there. I guess your license. Where's Tonic? That's Magic. Magic Kingdom. We're going there next. Yeah, but that's down, right? It's not up yet. It's all under construction. Yeah, I know, right? Me too. People mover is like one of the first things I want to get on as soon as we get there. If there's anything I want to do besides the mountains, I want to go and ride the people mover. Um, where would you guys like to go? We can drop you off. Hold on, guys. All right, so we're going to go over and do test track first because it looks like it's going to rain. And um, we want to be able to ride it today. <laughs> You know, and we want to be able to do something besides smugglers around. I'm just saying, we haven't had a very productive day. Right. It looks like there's still a lot of construction going on here at Epcot. It looks like they're still working on the main middle section. That tells me. I really, um... That reminds me of when you say something like that. Like a person's got a top and bottom and the middle section's their stomach. Like, like yeah. Saba, Cup Cool and all that. Yeah, I guess that's the best way to put it. It's really hard to describe. Well, they're working on the area where t uh, Club Cool... Sure, <laughs> let's go with that. Wait. What? We're at a dead end. Go back, go back. Look at that uh, storm coming in. So let's go this way. Yeah, this way to test track. This way to test track. Yes. No, there's an opening. I see it now. <laughs> Why do they have Big Hero 6 on the walls? Uh, I didn't realize there's so much construction going on in this park. No wonder this park still had reservations available. <laughs> this park is still a mess. Oh look, more maps. What a... What do you know about that? Just win the whole thing. Just take the whole thing for Alan. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Alan, you can have all of it. <laughs> all right, now I guess. Oh yeah, we have to go this way. That is really annoying. I just took a whole picture of the. Ha. You guys can send it in the group chat. I hope everybody don't get mad at Megan Martin ball just because she has an attitude problem. We should be coming upon Cosmic Rewind shortly. Oh my word. Wow. I send a picture and I put four out. Oh, cool. Maybe we'll get to add. Probably. Wait, oh, look, there's Tess Track. <laughs> yeah, I just usually ignore her anyway. Very much so. <laughs> Is it the only one in the group you have? No. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you. I love when you're, it's your birthday and you're still telling people happy birthday. All the good people are flying with me. I mean, there's pretty good people born all, all the year long. Can't tell. Rock the galaxy. Let's play. 
Keep going. It's that big blue building. Wow, that is amazing. That was cool. The new Moana ride is going to be going right over here, and if I'm not mistaken, Space 220 is over here somewhere next to Mission Space. I like that ride too. I just can't handle Orange Team again. Hey, David. Of course, Flower and Garden Festival starts on uh, Wednesday, which I go back to work that day. What? Yeah, I kind of do. Oh, Space 220. There's the entrance for it. Right next to Mission Space. Yeah, you're going the right way. You're good. Sorry, I'm going crazy because I haven't seen a lot of this stuff in, ever except on YouTube. It doesn't look like it's open. It looks like it's down. Yeah, they're all outside. That means it's down. I was pretty much all over Future World. They didn't really have a designated spot. So, the Flower and Garden Festival, of course, starts on Wednesday, like I was mentioning. And uh, they already have everything set up for it. It just doesn't officially start right away. I never seem to go to it anymore, but that's okay. At least I still get to YouTube it. Well, they already have up. The playground's already set up. Look, they turned... Uh, what was that called again? Uh, mouse. mouse gear. Yeah. Into creation shop? What? That's weird. <laughs> so, King and Vanita did invite us to go ride on Mission Space. I was like, that does sound good, but let's see what the uh, wait time is for... The ride two we ride, which of course sprung over a two hour wait. Test track just went down for technical difficulties. Disney, what is going on with you today? That's the second ride that's broken down. And one day, wow. Oh, what, definitely not. Green landing family play zone. Interesting. So I told the other two, why don't you just go do your own thing? Of course. I don't even know how many times they've been here, at least K, and they still need a stupid map to be able to find their way around. I'm just like, oh, please. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. We only grab a map for Alan. Yeah, exactly. Alan, we got you a map. We forgot to get one of Hollywood Studios, but we'll make it up tomorrow. I'll make sure it goes in my suitcase. Oh, Club Cool did come back. That's right. And they just removed. They just moved it over. I wonder if they improved it. I don't know. Oh, I did a picture over here. That's all really pretty. And then we got more 50th stuff up ahead. Oh, that's cool. Look at the big <laughs> ears or whatnot.
Wow, so pretty. Definitely not. Oh, there's a Skyliner. Like he did over in China. That was hilarious. <laughs> Standing there holding the staff, I was like, what? <laughs> I, I don't want to anymore. So TJ was pointing out that for the uh, Flower and Garden Festival, they have all these uh, different locations. Uh, this one's Garden Grace. Oh, actually, no, this one's Pineapple Promenade, and I don't know what Garden Grace is. But uh, for the featured items, they have a spicy hot dog and Dole Whip. Really? You can get Dole Whip at Epcot now? That's different. And um, they have all kinds of different alcoholic beverages available for purchase. Not bad on price, No, that's actually pretty good. It's too bad it's not open until Wednesday. They knew David were here. That's right. <laughs> so they put Starbucks over here now? That's different. <laughs> that's a really weird location for it. <laughs> not gonna lie. I, I don't know if this country is a new location. Or I have no <laughs> idea. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> Interesting. Citrus Blossom. Of course, Epcot, I have the most YouTube thing to do at. I'm pretty much going to be doing all my, putting all my theme park vlogs all in one shot. <laughs> uh, if we can squeeze over, we'll find out. Oh, he's got a 50th anniversary t-shirt, that's cool. Over here we've got crispy mojo marinated pork belly. Let's see if I can get a little closer. And that's only six dollars and twenty-five cents. That's cheap. And then a tuna tataki bowl for six twenty-five. A grapefruit tart right there. That's uh, five twenty-five. The orange lemon smoothie and a souvenir orange bird sipper cup. Nice. And then there's their alcoholic beverages as well. And this is for the citrus blossom. So here's the. Uh, Northern Bloss Blooms, my apologies. We got seared scallops for $7.25, beef tenderloin tips for seven even, and then riddled maple pound cake for five even. And then they also have a maple popcorn shake. I don't know if I would really want that or not, <laughs> you know. And then of course there's their alcoholic beverages. So I guess this is where all the crowds are at right now. Passing by the espresso cart that's always been here, but anyway, um, we're heading into the UK section. We're almost to France. We're almost to the new Remy ride. I am super excited. We're gonna wait two hours for it. It's gonna be great, and then we're gonna go over to Magic Kingdom. I'm saying that like with so much enthusiasm, you know. Oh, there's TJ's favorite characters up on the right. Oh, we got another one over here on the on the left. Another location. We got the Cider House over here. We got the BLT Scone, that's five even. Dark Chocolate Raspberry Tart for four fifty. And then there's our beverages with alcohol. The flights are basically just a mixture of different alcohol drinks. When I was working at Disney's Hollywood Studios back in uh, December of 2017, well, November to be specific, I forgot. I had already transferred to Magic Kingdom at that point. They had um, an alcoholic trio of flight, and it was a lot more than $10. I can tell you that right now. So $10 for that is actually not bad. I'm going to step down over here. Oh, man, this trip has been a lot better than last year. Hands down.
All right, guys, here we go. Going into the brand new entrance for the Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. That's cool. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Ratatouille. <laughs> I've got it so beautiful today. Stand by line for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. It's right here. Lightning Lane is straight ahead. Yeah. Oh, wait, I need to get in the standby. Oh, she went in the shop. She's in the shop. This is the standby line for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Lightning Lane is continuous straight. The light, lightning, lightning Lane, of course, is for the most major attractions. Disney Genie Plus is for everything else. That's cool. It goes right underneath where the Skyliner's at. Oh, look, a Ratatouille cab. That's neat. <laughs> well, hopefully it won't actually take two hours because it's already four o'clock now. Today is flown. My word. <laughs> That's cool. That is cool. That's actually really impressive. I am very impressed. It's too bad that TJ and I don't have ring gear. That is cool. We finally got to this point. Oh, snap. You know, I bet this is Remy's office. That's cool. That's cool. I'm assuming so. So that was a really cool ride. 
Uh, I just noticed the Skyliner's down. TJ said it can't be Lightning because the boat's running, the Friendship boat. I don't remember it running um, last year, so it's good to see it running again. But yeah, I mean, for my first time, I would definitely say that was worth a two hour wait, give or take. Uh, for a brand new trackless ride, I trackless ride, yeah, as I said, it was very enjoyable. Uh, I would definitely say, of all the trackless rides I've been on so far, in order of favorites, Rise of the Resistance is my favorite, followed closely by Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, which I rode last year. And then finally, this one, the Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. But, I mean, the whole area is very well themed. Um, I would say, as far as scenery goes over here, very, very beautiful. But the ride itself, I mean, it could have been better, it could have been worse. I mean, what do you get when you have literally a uh, replica of what they already have over at Disneyland Paris? over here at Epcot as well. So I have a couple of uh, free Disney snacks for us to use while we're here still. Even though I'm really not that hungry, I don't mind sharing with TJ. And then um, we're gonna try to get uh, do single rider for uh, test track because I already let them know we're already off. So over here at La Isla Fresca, we have... Arapas topped with melted queso fresco, that's five even. Arapa topped with shrimp, crushed avocado, whatever that is, AG with tomato sauce, that's six, seven, and five. Arapa topped with carrizo at six twenty-five, and then coconut tres leches for four fifty. And then there they are right there. And then there are the well the alcoholic oh, beverages. So now we're at Wowner Market, <laughs> Farmer's Market. <laughs> Potato pancakes are four seventy-five. No. Wait, yeah, yeah. what? <laughs> then there's just a potato pancake. Wait, what's the difference? Oh, there's one with house-made applesauce, Sauce. and then there's another one with caramelized ham, onions, and herb sour cream. That's weird. Then they have a toasted pretzel bread that's five seventy-five. And then a warm cheese strudel for $4.75. And then there's all the alcoholic beverages. So we're over by China and we're at the Lotus House. And we got spicy mala chicken skewer for $6.75. House made cheesy crab wontons. Oh, that sounds incredible. $7.75. Hey, I would pay that. Honestly, I would. And of course, Chinese like their tea, so. And then there's alcoholic beverages. guys are on the people mover Woo! and look the fireworks are going off that works you take the pictures I'll take the video
There's the Crystal Palace we ate there two years ago. Definitely take pictures of that. Holy crap, look at Tron. Wow. Oh my word. We're gonna be riding motorcycles, I wonder in there. Wow. You're getting pictures, right? Yeah. Good. Too dark. Wow. Again, round two. Bye, people. Now that I cannot wait to ride. I am not sure. legendary circular theater celebrates the progress that has made our lives better. It's a perfect reminder that there's always a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. Wow, today was crazy. I think that's gonna uh, end up for at least the Disney Parks portion of the vlog. And now I'm gonna go over to Wilderness Lodge, or back to Wilderness Lodge, I should say. And we're going to do a separate vlog just for TJ's birthday. Look at the boat toy, David. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. You guys should have probably been able to see that. But, anyways, we will see you guys in the next vlog. This is my last, we're down to our last two vlogs. So, we just got tonight at the restaurant and then Disney Springs tomorrow. And that's it. And then I'll see you guys back in Kentucky. So, always remember you can do all things through Christ's faith with you. Please look at the wrong way. Have a great night. Peace out.